Hello everyone. Welcome back to this new tutorial on how to replace a process image using the EXECL function. Now the EXECL function is used whenever you want to replace the current image of a process with a new one. Now what do you mean by this? This means that let us suppose we have written a very simple program like this and in the main function we have written three statements printf and then before within the printf if you use the execl function what will happen is that now within the execl function i have called the ls command you can write here any executable file whether you have created your own program so in this case i have used the ls command what will happen is that once the control comes to this execl function the current image of the process now what is the current image the current image is this entire code from int main till the closing bracket this entire code will be replaced by the code of the ls command and ls command will start to execute from within this process itself this means that the current process will be replaced by the ls command it will not be a new process but the current process rather than printing the after statement will print the output of the ls command which will be what the long list of the current working directory by the long list because i have used the minus l option along with it all right so once execl function executes the current image will become what the ls command now let me show it with an example so i will write the same code execl so i have written the exact same code printf before so before means before executing the execl function so you can write any statement here then the execl function where the first argument will be the path of the new process that you want to execute second argument will be the name of the process from third argument onwards it will be the options if you want to use and whenever you want to end then you will write null so what i mean is if i don't want to use the minus l option then my third argument would have been null all right so if i want then i can use minus l null means that no more arguments are required then the third statement is printf okay now before using execl let me just show you without execl what is happening okay so there are only two statements printf before and printf after that's it so if i say compile this run it a dot out so we can see before and after that's what we are expecting all right now let us suppose that i use execl between these two okay so what will happen that the program will start executing it will print printf before and then once the control executes the execl function the execl will do what it will replace the current image of the process means the entire code the current code of this process with the code of ls and ls minus l will start to execute which will do what print the long list of the contents of the current working directory since the code has been replaced by ls this means there is no more the printf after statement left so we will never see this statement in the output so I save it recompile and execute the current process which is what a dot out so there is the output before and then the output of ls minus l we never see the after statement because the image has been replaced by the ls command just to show you that it is the current process only no new process has been created i'm going to just modify this and rather than using the ls command i will use now the ps command which will show me the current running processes in the system okay so if i save it recompile run it and there's the output okay since there's only one process that is ps there's no process says a dot out because that now is replaced by the ps process 
The EXECL function is mainly used when we want to replace the image of a child process with a new image. If you remember that we can use the folk system call to create a child process from a parent process. Now whenever we do this by default, what is the code that the child gets? So by default, the child process is a duplicate of the parent process. So what we mean by the duplicate is that whatever is the code being run by the parent, exactly same code is copied for the child also. So the child will also do the same work as the parent. That's why we use the if else part and we work on the value of n and differentiate between what the child is supposed to do and what the parent is supposed to do. But the child will contain exactly the same code as the parent. Now, if you want that the child should have a different code from the parent, then you can use the execl function, which will replace the child's code with a new code. All right. For example, in this case, we have used the execl function within the child process, okay, within the part that the child was supposed to do and now the entire image of the child will be replaced with the ps process okay so let's do it with an example so let's see a program for this okay. so first before using the execl function i have written a simple code where we have used folk to create a child process the child is printing the line printf i am child having id something and the parent is first waiting for the child to finish and then it is printing its own PID. All right. If we run this, compile it. Run it. And you can see that the child is printing its own PID. It's 321 and the parent ID is 320. All right. Okay. Just to give more clarification on this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use here sleep for 10 seconds. All right. So why, why I'm going to do this while the process, the child process will be sleeping. I'm trying to, I will be running the PS command just to show you that which processes are running in the system. All right. So if the child by default is a duplicate this means whatever is the name of the process parent process same will be the name of the child process all right so i'm running my program as dot slash a dot out this means the name of the parent is a dot out so a dot out should be twice in my output of the ps command because the child is the duplicate of the parent process so all right so let's compile this pcc name of the program a dot out now just make sure that you run this process in the background so that you have the control on the shell and you are able to run the ps command so once i see the output i'm going to use the ps command and i can see that there are two entries with a dot out okay 342 343 i am child having id 343 this means 343 this a dot out second one is the child of this a dot out which is the parent process i am parent having id 342 all right so why this is a dot out is twice remember child is the duplicate of the parent process all right now we are going to change that scenario and now i'm going to replace the child image with the new process so rather than writing this so i will even you know don't not delete this just before this i will use execl and replace it with another function this time i will replace it with the ps process itself so that the output shows me which all processes are running in the system okay it will not matter whether you keep this printf sleep or not because once execl executes everything below that is not going to run all right because the image is going to be replaced with ps so you can just try it out here I'm going to leave it because it's not going to matter. What you can do is you can even comment this and see there will be no difference in the output. All right. I'm going to compile it again. 
run it now it doesn't matter whether you run it in the foreground or the background because the process with which i am replacing the child image is ps itself so i need not to run the ps command explicitly so this process is not required now explicitly okay now you can see that a dot out is only once and that is what is the parent i am parent having id 351 351 all right and the child id is replaced the id is still 352 but the child image is replaced with the ps it's not a dot out all right just to be more clear what you do is rather than writing it here write it below the printf statement so that you are able to see what is the id of the child okay and do this no need for sleep now the child will first print i am child having the id and then it will get replaced with execl and then with the ps process okay it will just make clear that what was the id of the child so recompile it run it and there you go i am child having id 360 so 360 now is the idea of process ps because it has been replaced with the use of execl function all right so execl remember is used to replace the process image keep watching and keep sharing desk tutor see you next time Thank you.